Hi everybody, Wildside here with what I hope to be the first test firing of my CO2 laser. Um, I have no idea if I wired this up correctly for this test, but hopefully the thing's not going to fire when I plug this in because it shouldn't. Alright, so far so good. That's the target. That's the laser. I don't know what would be more impressive, but here we go. Whoa! <laughs> In case you missed it, let's see, here's the laser firing. And there's the touche, touche, touche. Fire, fire, fire. How cool is that? <laughs> I wonder if that, well, the beam's not focused, so it can't, uh, <clears throat> can't penetrate the wood, but, uh, yeah, you can't really tell, but it went about halfway through. Let's try it really close up. I don't think there's much difference. The, the beam is pretty much collimated when it comes out, and, um... Here we go. Three, two, one, fire. Poof. All right. So we have a good laser tube. Fire a few more times. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Ba, ba, ba. Well, as you can tell from my from my voice, I'm giddy about this because uh, that means I can move forward with assembling that monster over there and putting this guy in there. I'll make another video tonight when it's dark out, see what it looks like. Cool. Let me shoot way out here. So this will be about a 20 foot shot. Oh, come on, stand up. Borrow one of my mother in law's plants. And that should do it. Alright, so this should answer the question if these lasers can be used as long range weapons or not. Three, two, one, fire. Can you see that over there? Three, two, one, fire. See that? <laughs> Three, two, one, fire. Three, two, one, fire. Three, two, one, fire. By the way, don't try this at home. Thanks for watching. Three, two, one, fire. All right.